Oh, hi. Are you wondering what I'm doing? I'll show you. This is quite neat, isn't it? And I made it myself. And you can do it too with coding. What's coding? Well, have you ever wondered how computers do the things they do? Like play movies or show pictures or make music? How does it know what to do? That's what I wanted to know too. Computers know what to do because of coding. Think of it like a recipe book for when you want to make your favorite food. When the computer is turned on, it needs instructions. And when you ask it to do something, like use Netflix or YouTube or anything, it's like giving it a recipe for how to do it. But instead of ingredients and cooking, it uses something called a programming language. To us, a page of code looks like a page with numbers. But to a computer, it's in a language it can understand. And there are different computer languages in the same way that there are different human languages. We have English, and French, and German, and they have things called C++ or Python or Java. So if you can understand English, you can follow a cooking recipe written in English. But if you don't understand French, then you won't know what to do with the French recipe. Anyone can learn to program, and some languages are easier than others. If you work hard at it, you can get a computer to do whatever you want. That's how they make video games. That's how they make computer programs like drawing software. And it's even how they make websites like YouTube and TikTok. Nowadays, almost everything uses a computer in one way or another. Can you think of how many things in your house use a computer? Smartphones and devices are little computers. TVs also have computers in them now. Even things like microwaves and calculators have teeny tiny computers on them. So how do we get all these computers to work together if they use different languages and do different things? It's kind of like human languages. All the different languages in the world might have different words and sounds, and even a different alphabet. But they all have a few things in common. They all use letters to make words, and the words go together to make sentences. And sometimes, even if we don't know exactly what someone is saying, we can understand what they mean by how they say it. It's a bit like that for computers. It's always better to speak to a computer in its own language. Speaking to it in a different language might lead to mistakes. So maybe you have your own idea for an app, or video game, or computer program, or maybe something so futuristic and advanced that only you can think of it. Well, you can make it happen. There are lots of smaller, easy computer languages to learn to help you understand the basics of coding. And once you master the basics, you can move on to more sophisticated and challenging languages to really make things take off. When you finish a program, please let me know. You can tell me about it in the comments. Also, please like this video to show support for children learning coding. And if you know another cool kid who could also be a cool computer coder, then please share the video with them to kickstart their computer coding career. Thank you for watching. See you soon.